Hi everyone, Sirikon here, and today I'm reacting to a, 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 a update that got, well, an uh, update in the game. It's called uh, Samurai Lord of Chaos. And uh, it's, a, it's a boss fight and a quest just both got released at the same time. And, oh boy, we all know where this is going. And uh, I'm gonna give you a recap of Twilight Epic, guys, in case you haven't played. I mean, I mean, sorry, in case you played the quest. And it contains spoilers, so, uh, uh, if you don't want to hear it, just, uh, come back to this video once you're, uh, finished the quest. And if you don't mind spoilers, then I won't stop you. Now, in Twilight of Gods, we figure a way to, uh, by, um, defeating Samurai, we, uh, banish him like Guppix did back in the old days. Creating our own, uh, I guess it's a sort of ended site. I forgot how to pronounce it. However, there is some bad news there. Well, the good news, we defeat Samurai for good. Well, like, kick him out. The bad news is, uh, this will result in losing our rogue guard powers forever. And another bad news is, well, two more. One, well, well, the one is the one that bad news I mentioned before, the rogue guard one. Two. Some of the gods we befriended, like uh, Armadale, Sardonium, and even our fellow Maturat, who teach us ancient magic, will be banished. And, uh, and three, you know the voices of Light and Shadow in our heads? You know, after we absorb, unintentionally absorb some of the essence of Samurai? Oh, sorry, not Samurai, Sleesuke. Well, I, you see, they also go away too. And honestly, that's a downer because I actually starting to like their those characters. Yeah, so that's the recap, and it is going to be pretty much tragic losing some friends, especially when some of those gods. I mean, sorry, friends are actually gods. Luckily, the demigods like our favorite god, the underworld of Echeran, You know, the jackal one. He stays around, so that's cool. And even that cabbage one. Uh, Parisium Prime, uh, Prisica, I forgot, I'm sorry. So, okay. Now, let, I'm gonna read th this, and... Yeah, if you wanna check this out, I'll put a link below. Okay. It's the day you all have been waiting for. Time to grab your swords and staffs, and take on the Lord of, uh, Chaos himself, and the Legacy of Samurai. Okay. It just got launched, uh... Oh, wait, actually... It says this update will be launched on Monday on uh, uh, July 4th at uh, 12 p.m. Well, actually, it just got released right now. I checked. Okay, okay, now. New boss fight. Samurai Glow Kiss. Are you ready to fight a god? Samurai is looking behind a protective shield in the wilderness, trying to uh, establish. Yeah, it's back. I'm sorry, I can't read that. His own credit at this. Oh no. That's like an insult to injury for poor Gaptix. And you need to stop him. Fight through the Samurai in the uh, undersea. Use the port to reach him and finish this once and for all. This is experience built for uh, anybody. Uh, sorry, I spaced out. Just, I just, uh, you know, whenever I think of stuff, I end up spacing out. And I'm trying to know it, but it's hard. So, anyways, from storm mode with uh, 90 damage redu reduction and save this all the way. The near unlimited in rage mode. Oh boy, Samurai's really mad. Well, gonna be mad. Head to so head and <coughs> sorry, head and solo or as one of up to five players. The experience scale of you and your team. Yeah, there's the appeal, but oh uh, yeah, well, for in a chaos. A, oh, excuse me, sorry, I burped. <laughs> yeah, chaos. The elven necromancer girl. She already reacted to this video. And she wants to give Samurai a piece of her mind. Yeah. Yeah. For the first time, you'll earn, also earn some of the new rewards in Storm Mode. Naturally, the rewards will be much less likely to drop, and there will be uh, significantly less loot overall. But this is a great way to build your experience and gain some cool stuff. For the, the experienced boss bashers, meanwhile, normal is the experience of the fight. But if you really want to challenge, scale in rage mode, including the new elite dungeon, is gonna push you further than ever before. And here's the uh, uh, sorry, bow. I almost said staff. Yeah, this is like a bow of uh, 
It's like a gap fix like, that's cool. You could earn rewards like the powerful tier 95 bar of glass guardian. A glass cannon of melee armor set. Oh wait, oh sorry. I was thinking of comparing the glass cannon and melee with this BS. Oh my bad. Anyways, uh, a glass cannon melee armor set. The uh, testament of Herod. Uh, Silvers to a. Uh, uh, Silvers? I'm sorry, just. It's, uh, it almost looks like silver, you know, the color, and metal. To enhance in existing gear and much more. To get started, enter a set test in. I, I still can't pronounce it. Take the green lift down to the Samurai Undersea Elite Dutch. And for possible, for all we are to click here. You know what? I think I'm gonna go there right at. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do it now before I forget. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Alright, just uh, give it a minute. Yeah, I have an old laptop, that's why it's slow. I mean, it doesn't always stop me from playing RuneScape, so that's good. Sorry, just stretching these bones. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, if you want to check out this link, I'll put in the link below. If I have it, be sure to remind me. I mean, to be fair, ever since we heard of Samurai, many players want to encounter and battle them, and, and that never happened until now. I mean, sure, there was a real event, uh, the first one, in 2013, but that's nothing compared to the actual deal. Okay, um... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the rewards, uh... Okay, here's the rewards here. And I guess that's pretty much it. Well, they got Chandler's Ring and Champion's Ring. I never had it, but that's cool. And there's some of these weapons. Yeah. I was thinking of getting this weapon, but... Yeah. It's so more exciting. Okay, alright. Oh, I guess that's all. Alright, now back to the actual deal. Yeah, that wasn't a good reaction to the rewards thing, so I apologize. I was expecting more rewards after that, but... <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. So, there's a free dev event week, which is cool, to celebrate the launch of Samurai. And uh, we're making all devs free for the next week across the game. Free devs means absolutely no penalty when you die. You'll only be losing anything you consume in the fight itself. And if you never uh, bossed before, this is the perfect way to try it out. Of course, the mice center may still seem a little overwhelming, so why not try Arch Glacier in Elgar's uh, Wars Dungeon, or in this case, uh, God Wars Dungeon 3, to learn some uh, bossing basics, mechanic by mechanic, free deaths, and on uh, July uh, 11th. Remember, Samurai Story Mode always has free deaths. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that is true. Just saying. I, that's what I normally would say. Okay, Samurai's World uh, for, uh, First Race. Well, if there is of any major bugs, it's always fun to see the best of the best of best. Uh, battling out for all important first skills. So, sorry, I stammer a bit. Uh, Samurai's near unlimited enraged system means this battle will be fought for many months, if not years, to come. As, I mean, to be fair, I mean, uh, we never get to fight Samurai for like, since uh, 2001 until 2022. Okay, alright, as all you, uh, P uh, PM, uh, uh, I'm sorry, PPM, okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, Master Trolls, uh, I can't read that, complete to the top, uh, I mean, to be top of the leaderboard. But for this clear, that's the price we all want. Today we're sharing the spotlight on the biggest day I've won achieving with a special stream. We'll be watching for the world's first uh, 1,000 range across all teams and beyond. Uh, teams and sizes, sorry I forgot to read the size part. Okay, and there's the mini quest after the left. 
Lord of Chaos of the also includes a brand new mini-quest, including the continuing story of the uh, Twilight of the Gods. The summary boss fight is included within the quest itself, and completing is required a, a single clear of stomach on any difficulty, which includes the easy peasy story mode. <laughs> yeah, start your adventure by talking to a. Uh, ad, uh, Agrestia, I can't read that, I'm sorry. On the first floor of Florida Castle. Also, I'm, that, that's the, uh, she's the daughter of Sam, of Sarah Dorian. Sorry, not Samurai, I mean, she ain't no daughter of Samurai. She's the daughter of Sarah Dorian. It's recommended you start the quest before facing Samurai. Oh boy, does this mean we're gonna go to the Inferno place? And if so, it would be interesting. I mean, I always wonder where did some of the, infer the uh, home will uh, places look like. Especially a place where humans uh, first live in. Okay, and here's the. Oh, no, there's community, but we're not gonna look up there. It's just. I don't care for that, I'm sorry. Okay, patch notes. Players can no longer skip to the final boss of the Elven Elite dungeon. Wait. Really? I mean, how in the heck? Uh, I didn't even know there was a skip option, but. Oh well. Okay, fix an issue of, uh, Incendria, uh, is that right? In, incendia shot that will cause NPC animations to be overridden. Add tool tips to the following items. Hex Hunter Bow, Inquisitor uh, Staff, Tower Sword, Maul, um, um, Laceration Boots, Bleeding Boots, and Blast Diffusion Boots. Fix an issue where a uh, shoot dome will increase, uh, well, would increase instead of decrease damage. Uh, reduction when used multiple times against some types of, I mean, some hit types. Reduce the uh, abomination uh, oil of volume, uh, I mean, oil form of light form, dark form, and adrenaline crystals. Um, uh, sorry, I rounded the edges of the adrenaline player uh, head bar. Play of gods. A, a, a colorblind mode has been added to the ritual puzzle. The, and and as for uh, yeah, uh, the check rune option in the ritual puzzle now outputs the position of the rune. And when I first heard that rune part, I thought it'd be actual runes to use, be used for magic and stuff when I played that quest. The game okay, the be the beach. The game no longer crashes when a player participates. Uh, you know, take part in the uh, rock pools at you with the uh, XP uh, boosting cocktail uh, uh, active. You know, with all due respect, I think that you should really need to test out these things before bringing them to the actual game. I'm just saying, I'm sorry. And it fix a strip error that occurred during the fight with uh, Claudia. Oh boy, that crap never gives up. Anyways, uh, while playing, while the player had a Pernix uh, Clipper equipment, Yuck Trek. It's now possible to insert a main to kill and, I mean, skill and kill prices for all beach activities. Well, that's good news. I mean, I haven't been to the beach much yet, but that's good news. Reduce consumption rate of a uh, Dino Arrow Chris to, uh, to one in three of each hit. Well, that's good news. That saves a little money or something. And come in the coming months, RuneScape will no longer support Windows uh, 32 uh, bit builds or graphic cards that do not support an uh, OpenGL 3.0 or higher. This uh, change allows us to focus on technology developments and test and research on more commonly used platforms. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, and uh, if you all like uh, this video, what do you think? Be sure to put a like and subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll put some of the links below in case you want to check these out yourself. Bye everyone, and good luck against Samurai.